Hello and welcome to The Mill. I am your host, Dusty Crane, and today we are going to talk about the 2018 Stonemeyer year in review. We are near the, the end of December and it is a perfect time to reflect on the year and also to look forward to what is to come. And since I am no Nostradamus, we are going to focus on what was instead of what will be. We are going to start where every good calendar does in January. The rise of Fenris was announced. We're, we knew it was coming. It was just marked as Scythe expansion. We learned the name Rise of Fenris. We learned that it is a eight episode campaign with 11 modules. And another thing that January brought us was the introduction of the Stonemeyer live chats every Wednesday. February brought us an announcement from Jamie that he was beginning to be more active on Instagram. And since then, he has daily posted teases of games, pictures of the food that he's eating, and lots of pictures of his cats, Walter and Biddy. Another thing that happened in February was that Jamie announced that the Stonemeyer community had partnered with Rodney Smith to join forces to provide captions to Stonemeyer games for the deaf and hard of hearing. Well, technically this was a February 28th announcement. I'm going to tie it into March. That was because it was a part of the March newsletter, and that is the introduction of the Stonemeyer Champions program for total for $12 a year, we were able to help subsidize some of the content that Jamie makes for the community. He makes 100 blog posts, 100 YouTube videos, and so for $12 a year, you help him make that content, but also you get some great benefits for yourself. You get uh, unlimited US shipping for free. You get the copies of games early before they hit retail. Um, if you're an international champion, then you get discounted international uh, shipping and that program has evolved over time too because now Jamie's actually started to ship to UK distribution centers to make shipping even cheaper for the for the international champions. March also brought us new Stonemeyer treasure chest tokens. That's a mouthful in the form of wheat sheaves and futuristic crates and copper tokens and you can get those through Top Shelf Gamer. Ah, uh, and who could forget, March is also the month that Jamie learned that the fan community is so eager for information on upcoming releases that we will blow up the tiniest images in newsletters and see what they have to reveal to us. March was the month that Viticulture visit from the Rhine Valley was actually leaked ahead of time. Jamie tossed a little tiny image in that newsletter, um, which just shows kind of the timelines of things coming out, and somebody blew it up and was able to find the, the full title of the, the expansion, whereas before on the newsletter, it was just titled Viticulture Expansion. And that leak actually moved the release date up, or the pre-order date up, to March 28th from the originally planned May 2nd. Now, if you're the person that did the leaking, no hard feelings. Jamie was happy to share the information with us. April's big announcement was Viticulture, Visit from the Rhine Valley. That went on sale technically March 28th. I know a lot of these kind of fall or crossover month dates, but I'm giving it to, giving it to April. Um, so we got a new visitor card expansion for Viticulture. We got 80 new visitors that, instead of focusing on victory points, actually focused on the craft of winemaking. Of course, April always opens with April Fool's Day, right? April Fool's Day, the big Stonemeyer April Fool's Day prank was, there was no April Fool's Day prank. I guess Jamie is of the opinion that April Fool's Day pranks are more confusing to customers than fun, and they generate a lot of questions and that type of thing. So I guess the image I sent him of Scythe, the euphoric vineyard, was just not meant to be. Sorry. It's it's fine. I'm a terrible graphic designer. I All right, fine. It was a picture I drew with crayons. The final thing that April had in store for us was Jamie teasing that he had a new game release to be announced in May. That game, Codename Eat a Shoe. That's right. My Little Scythe was announced. My Little Scythe, the game, of course, that had us thinking about friendship instead of popularity. It is a family-friendly, award-winning game that was just a terrific, out-of-nowhere long shot that I think panned out pretty well. I mean, Tom Vassell had to eat a shoe. 
Another thing of note for May and for My Little Scythe is it was actually the first title that Jamie included a custom Game Trays insert right in the box. Another nice thing about that insert was it included room for future expansion material. Will we see that in 2019? Time will tell. At the very tail end of May, Stonemaier opened up pre-orders for Scythe, The Rise of Fenris, the final expansion in the Scythe trilogy of expansions, and along with that pre-order window opening, we also got the rulebook, which introduced a necessary evil to the Scythe Facebook community, and that is the Spoiler Shield. That's right, since then we have been tagging all Rise of Fenris content with Spoiler Shield because it is a campaign with boxes that contain mystery things and so just out of kindness to other side fans we've been including that spoiler shield all along. The final point I have jotted down here for May was May marked the start of Jamie's Sunday sit down YouTube series. If you haven't watched those videos that's where Jamie kind of goes and takes a deeper dive into a game or a game mechanic or, or something that interests him that is more than just surface level like the the My Favorite Mechanism videos, they've been pretty popular, and if you haven't watched one yet, check it out. That leads us, of course, into June 1st. That was the release date for Viticulture, Visit from the Rhine Valley. Stonemaier Champions had their copy for a little while now, and that was just one of the benefits of that program played out. The second thing that June brought us was Scythe the Legendary Box became available again after having been sold out earlier in 2000 or later in 2017. People wondered if there would ever be another printing and thankfully there was. The, the new printing had some extra filler material to help take care of some of the problems the first print run saw. So the return of the Legendary Box was certainly a big topic for the month of June. June also saw the in invitation to Scythe fans to leave their mark on the game of Scythe to create an encounter card. Jamie sent out a survey or, or sent out a notice to the community that said, want to design a, a, an encounter card? We have all this unused art that hasn't been used as a part of the encounter cards or has been used to this end before. What, you know, tell a story. The community came forward, provided their options and the best ones were chosen. Well. I guess the best ones. Sure, it was the best ones. I'm, I'm still a little bit of sour grapes over the whole fact that the mine didn't get selected, but it's all good. It's all good. My final note for the month of June was the BGG micro badge for the Stonemaier Champions program became available. It's not free, but for the price of eight geek gold, you can tell everybody in Board Game Geek Land that you are a Stonemaier Champion. This leads us into July, one of the most often repeated request I've seen on the Viticulture Facebook group is, will you please reprint Arborculture or Formaggio? Jamie knew that there probably wasn't enough demand to do a full retail release, but he did make the files available to print and play companies so that they could then in turn print those for fans that were interested and make that available. This next bit, while not directly Stonemaier related, is Stonemaier adjacent, and that is Scythe Digital Edition entered into public beta testing. August was a big month for Stonemaier games. Not only did we get My Little Scythe, we also got Scythe, The Rise of Fenris. Both of those titles became available to retail on August 17th. In addition to those two new titles, we also got Viticulture Stemless Wine Glasses came back. They were originally only available in the Kickstarter, but after enough consumer demand, Jamie made them available again. August also saw the introduction of the Scythe Neoprene Game Mat. Jamie ended up finding a print-on-demand service that did quality enough work that he was happy to release those files. In addition to My Little Scythe, Scythe The Rise of Fenris, we also saw a title being teased all month long that was announced and pre-orders opened on the exact same day, and that was Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig. Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig was also the second new Stonemaier game that was released that came with a custom game trays insert. August was obviously a huge month for Stonemaier games, and so September was obviously a big, 
breath and opportunity to refocus because the only thing I have written down for my 2018 list is Stonemeyer Design Day 2018. October sprung back with a big October 1st retail release date of Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig. That was the big release in October. The next big October release was Scythe Encounters. The community generated Jamie curated promo cards, um, encounter cards were made available in October too. We did see a new hint pop up on the release calendar and that was Codename Cape. Codename Cape made its first appearance in the October uh, fan newsletter. I don't know whether it was a, a epic bad idea or a great idea, but Jamie went to the community and said, you're always offering me advice, so here is this blog entry. Tell me how I can change. Tell me what you would like to see me change and I will work on it. Now, whether this advice was able to be utilized or turned him into a super villain, I don't know, but he seems all right to me. Here we are into November. November marked the introduction or the sale of Scythe Metal Mechs. There were 4,000 individual units made available for sale. They quickly sold out. However, there was also 40 of these special metal mechs that were generated for the Stonemeyer Charity auction is something that Jamie's been doing for a few years now. What he did was he reached out to 10 different content creators and said, name a charity of your choice. I want to go ahead and focus on them. I want to focus on you guys. Draw attention to these things you care about in, in the channels or the, the blogs that you run. We were selected this year to pick a charity. We chose Adopt a Pet of Fenton and were able to raise $1,500. The $1,500 came from the results of, or the end results of the auction. It also came from a percentage of sales at the Stonemeyer shop. So all those things considered, Jamie was able to send $15,000 to 10 different charities. Finally, we wrap it all up in December. December was the release month for Scythe Encounters, particularly December 7th was the retail release date for Scythe Encounters. And then we were teased and had Codename Peregrine revealed to us, and that was Wingspan. Wingspan doesn't go on sale until January, but Jamie spent the month of December teasing out a little bit of information day by day for a couple of weeks there where, you know, we'd get a, a new picture and a new mechanic or a new, um, kind of like a design diary, but not quite. Um, but it was, a, in my opinion, it was a really cool way to introdu introduce Wingspan to the fans. And it marks yet one more time since the beginning of this year where there was a custom game trays insert included in the box. I think that's been a very welcome addition to Stonewire Games, and I hope it continues in 2019. That, my friends, is all I have for you. 2019 is sure to be another big year. We have Wingspan. We know we have a Euphoria expansion coming. There are, um, we know we have the Scythe modular board. We have things coming. We have a whole bunch of code names yet to be revealed. So I hope you guys had a wonderful 2018. I hope your 2019 is even better. And as always, take care of yourselves. Be kind, everyone. And thanks for watching. Another significant thing of note is the fact that this custom game tray insert was, wow. All right, you're in front of my mic. Look, it's Mario. He decided to join us. Doesn't he look thrilled? Go. <laughs>